doesn't love a Sunday roast? But I do think it can be a little bit daunting when you're thinking of big lumps of meat, slow roasting. Am I going to have to watch it for hours for what, people like me? What's daunting about a big lump of meat? There's nothing better. It can take a lot of time and effort. So I'm going to show you a really no-fuss Sunday roast that's very simple okay. using these beautiful Australian pork chops. Yep. Now these are lovely and an excellent source of iron in your diet and some people in the community need more iron, so people who are growing adolescents, women like myself, pregnant people, this is a nice way to get it in. I'm all googly eyed at you now because these pork chops, I love them, they're delicious, flavoursome and you know what I like about pork chops and a lot of people don't know this, the meat is actually very very lean it and is. there's just a little bit of fat on the outside which I think you need, it helps to keep it moist but if you're trying to take fat out of your diet, pork chops or pork loins are really Really, really good to use. And I love how you got them all in there. You're going to get the other one in? We can get the other can, one in Can there. we do Come it? We Here we go. We can snuggle it in there. Oh, oh look, at that. look at that. When it comes to sneaking oh. in a pork chop, you're my man. I love the way you're cooking it on the bone because the meat on the bone is always going to be sweeter. And it also helps to hold its shape as well. So a lot of big ticks here. I'm loving everything from here. The only thing I'm going to say is seasoning. Yes. Could you do some pepper, please, well, Chef? I'll would, do some salt. I would normally have the pork chops and I would season both sides of it. You don't, do you? No fuss. This is Priya's way. Oh, OK. We okay. know that you would dirty multiple trays and pans. But okay. at my house, it's just do it whilst it's in the pan. OK. Now, if you can start cutting these into nice little, you that. know, pieces. Yes. Um, but I haven't added any oil to this because I had a hot pan. So yes. I've learnt that from you. Great. I didn't want it to splash everywhere. Plus, this has enough fat on the pork anyway, so I don't need it. It will render down. But you could, if you wanted to, put a little drizzle on there, but Could. I think there's a lot of sizzle action going on, a lot of steam coming off it. I think you're in very safe hands. Now, we've got some classics here for a Sunday roast. I think you'll agree, Chef. Parsnip, carrots, yes. potatoes. And I love these because my kids will actually eat these. So when you're making a Sunday roast, normally you've got family coming over or everyone's eating it. So you want to use veggies that if you've got kids in your house, they're actually going to eat. I'll tell you what, if I've got family coming over, I just turn off all the lights, turn the music down, you know, so they don't know I'm here. So they think, oh, he's gone out for the day. So that's what happens when I ring your doorbell, is yeah, it? Yep, I'm, I'm gone. Interesting. So I'm going to turn these over because these are nicely seared. Yep. And then we can put those veggies into some boiling water because I like to soften them. Oh, OK. So you blanch them beforehand? I do. Okay. Just the carrots and the parsnips and the potato. Gotcha. I like them slightly softened. And I'm also doing, because what goes together beautifully, pork and apples. Oh, nice sweet apple. What I'll do is I'll pop these on a plate here. Thank you. So that they're Look ready to go. Look at all these veggies, though. This is what I love about a no fuss Sunday roast. You're getting all your veggies, everything in one tray. Exactly. And the thing I love is you're also balancing that out with some pork chops. I love, I love that. it. OK, if you can bring those over here for me, please. Gotcha. And pop them into the Straight boiling the water, which I know is probably Ooh. hurting your soul. A couple went off the side there. All straight in there. You're getting excited because of these lovely little pork chops, aren't you? I would just eat them straight out of the pan like you that. You could. You actually could. Beautiful. So onions into wedges. Now, the thing I love about my No Fuss Sunday Roast is there's a lot of textures in there. So I don't do anything to the apple or the onion. It's nice and crunchy. These are going to be slightly softened. And then gotcha. you've got the beautiful pork. Yep. Let's start popping things in there. Put straight into the tray. Put it in there. All right. I'm going to get us some sage. So you know that I love sage, but I don't use it often because it's quite a powerful flavour. It is. However... It goes really well with pork. So oh. sage and rosemary, very strong. So be very careful of it. Be very wary. You've got a lot in there, but I know it's oh. going to taste nice. It's going to be sound, You sound a little bit no, concerned. No, no, no. I pop all. everything in. These apples can go in. Trust me, if I thought something was going to go wrong here, I you would be the me. first one to tell You'd you. You'd be the first You know that one. I'm not shy about that, am I? You would, wouldn't you? Right, in Let's they go. put these veggies in. They're good to go. Okay. So We've you're just giving them a little bit of time in that hot water to soften yeah, them up a bit. I got gotcha. you. Just a little bit. So I want everyone to be fed and happy. And so I know that these being blanched improves the chances of that occurring. Fill them up with veg. And what I'm liking, six people fed with a big pork chop each, lots of veggies each, and it's ready to go. Can I pick that up for you? You can. Thank okay. you very much. Now, let's pop that off because those are beautifully seared. Yes. I've now got some really lovely classic flavours to put through this. I've got some mustard. Seeded mustard. Gotcha. Some honey, because pork and honey and apple, oh my goodness, look at that. That all works well. A bit of sweetness. And a bit of Worcestershire, as I call it, but you use its official name. Worcestershire, or if you read it from the bottle, Worcestershire, 
whatever you want to call it. It's I the, just say the, Worcestershire. The, the black sauce in a bottle. Correct. The Can black sauce. Go for it, please. Right a bit more pepper. Gotcha. Let's get these veggies nice and coated. Look at this. You could just do a veggie tray back if you wanted. It smells fantastic. The sweetness mm. of the honey and all those vegetables in there. But it's the pork chop that I'm just melting he in my mouth. He wants that pork chop, baby. He wants it. Let's do this. Let's put them on and then you'll stop salivating all over my veggies. So you're just going to range it on there? I am. Okay, nice and easy. And I love that you took the time to brown it off. Really important. Locks in the flavour, locks in the juices, and it gives it that lovely caramelised flavour. It'll get that from the oven, and if you don't want to sear it off in a pan, you could probably brown it off in the oven, couldn't you, with a, you with could. a bit of top heat? You could, absolutely. So let's get this into the oven. That's going to go 190 degrees for about 25, 30 minutes. Then we're going to put some peas in at the end, and then this No Fuss Sunday Roast is going to take you to a very happy place. I'm in a happy place already. Aww. Good do these little chops look? They <laughs> look fantastic. I love the peas. Yes, go for it. So these have already been blanched. They're already hot. So we're going to pop them through. A bit of greenery, a bit of sweetness. Or a little tickle in the uh, the special French oven. You give it a little oh. ding, you know, 30 seconds in there, they come up I nicely. Didn't know, I didn't quite know where that was, where you were going with that, Chef. OK. Here we go. Why don't you do the veggies? I can do the veggies for you. this is your kind of forte. But this is all you really need. If you're doing a Sunday roast, it's all in one tray here. Exactly. How good is this? This is the kind of eating and cooking that I enjoy. Let's pop a little pork chop on here. Look at that, beautifully seared. How often do you see me this excited that I've got my knife and fork ready to go? I know, ready probably to tuck into for it. my dishes, not this excited. Go on. Ah, there we go. Cut the nice big there. piece of beautiful. pork. Beautiful. Nice and tender. The knife is going through it really easy. I'm using a butter knife. That's a good sign. That's, That's a good um, sign. I right, love how just cut that. you are. I'm just going to cut it into a smaller piece. Oh, thank piece. you, so we can have a piece each. Well, yeah, I need to talk, so... That's kind of you. Mm. Really nice. Mm. Lots of simple flavours. You know what? It's actually picked up some of the flavours of the vegetables. A little bit of caramelisation there. Mm. That is beautiful. The pork mm. is so tender, packed with flavour. It has picked up some of the flavour from the veggies. I'm just thinking, why would you just have it on the Sunday? You could have this every day. You could have it every day. Why not? I wouldn't.